The purpose of today's video is to show you my two cabooses that I've added lights to. If you have no track power like I do because I run live steam or if you run battery and you have no track power, it's really super simple to add lights. This rail car was the subject of my New Year's Eve video where I had added LED lights to it already. But these two cabooses are the stars of the show. And you're gonna see how I did all of this lighting with LED, simple on off switches, hidden nine volt battery, dead simple. This is my old Aristocraft caboose. It came with really small windows. You couldn't really see the detail inside. So I enlarged the windows quite a lot. I repainted, re-lettered it, added a few little details on the inside here and there. I also body mounted couplers, but most of all, I want it to be lit properly. It came with incandescent bulbs in this section right there. I had a huge struggle trying to get the bulbs out. They broke, you name it. Anyway, there was corrosion. So I bought a bunch of these on Amazon. I figured the best place to put the battery and workings and the on-off switch is inside the caboose where it'll be nice and safe and out of the way. So in addition to replacing the lamps and the light bulbs, in here I'm going to install an on-off switch and the battery. Then this is just going to sit back down in there in the little slots and be held in place when the roof is on. I will be mounting the on-off switch right there. So I took this seat off just to give myself some room and so that my fingers fit. This poor guy's had his toes cut off. Incidentally, he was a Lemax figure, a post-delivery guy, anyway, in a little vehicle thing that wound up getting broken, so I repurposed them here. This caboose had marker lamps, one on each side. They had little teeny tiny grain of wheat incandescent bulbs in there, which, you know, they're gone now. Wiring's also going to include putting a rear-end red marker light, and I'm going to mount it right there. I've had to shape one of the marker lights so it'll fit where I want it to go. Now, what I'm going to do is use this duct tape the sticky on one side stuff and i'm going to wrap it to fill the holes in here i've put a lamp in and through this hole up into the body i took a piece of wood and shaped it like a point tapped it into that hole and that wire is not going to go anywhere now moment of truth if my wiring is correct i mean it's not hard it's positive to positive and negative to negative this should work all right so the seat is glued back on no problem. In order to get this to stay down, I'm gonna put a little tiny dab of super glue on the bottom and glue it to the yellow piece. Should I need to, a little tap of the tool and it'll pop right off. Now, in terms of replacing the battery, which shouldn't happen very often, it's a rechargeable battery I've got in there, but these are LED lights, they'll last forever, is I can just lift off the roof, wiggle and lift off. Now, normally the roof is held on with these two screws. Yes, I could have put the on-off switch under the car body, but I want to keep these screws out and be able to take the roof on and off at will because I like to tinker around inside of this rail car. You know, I just added this guy, for instance. Just so you know, these are E3 bulbs that are used in this rail car. Now on to my well-detailed USA Trains caboose. When I first got this caboose, you look inside and all you see is a pile of electronics and a smoke machine. Yet all the structure of a proper interior is there with some details and tables and stuff all waiting to be decorated. I modified this caboose by body mounting couplers. Curiously, this one came with a 1 to 48 figure right there. I kid you not, I measured it with my scale ruler. He was 1 to 48 scale. This is a 1 to 29 scale caboose. So I put this 1 to 32 guy in there. He just fits. Happily, this one already came with a place to put a 9 volt battery and a bunch of switches to do different things, like turn the marker lights on or off separately than the interior lights, and there was a smoke machine. The whole thing was a pile of electronics. I just wanted it simple. Lights on, lights off. Under here used to be a three-way switch, but I plan on using this smoke on and off button just for the on and off for all lights. Because it's wired for incandescent bulbs, all of the various strips in here, uh, it didn't matter the polarity. So I marked positive and negative strips and positive and negative up here. So when I put the thing together, positive will be on positive strip and negative on negative strip. And that way we're not gonna wreck the LED lights. These are E5 little tiny bulbs. On the back corners were these lamps. I had to drill it out to make it bigger and I put an LED in there. This is the two-sided sticky ducting tape. So the inside will reflect, so that's good. I'm gonna paint all that black. Because the conductor would want night vision, they wouldn't have a light. They wouldn't like illuminate up inside the cupola like that. So I'm not putting a bulb there. One of the benefits of onboard battery power is this had these sprung tension wipers on the wheels and these had wipers and, and you know, it, it really acted like brakes. So now the wheels on both of these cabooses roll much more freely. 
My American Mainline AccuCraft USRA 060 is ready to go, as you can see. It's blowing off steam. I've added radio control to this engine, so it's time we get moving. It'll be too difficult to do this in the dark and show you, but I'm going to switch out this short train with the other one that has the other caboose. The doggy's wondering, why am I not out there too? What did I do? Well, we turned the light on just to, so you can see a little more of the steam action that's happening here. There you go. So just before I run out of fuel here, with the outside light on, I thought I'd do a combined train just for fun. Well, it's getting late. There's a misting rain happening now. So I think it's time to say goodnight. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, share. As usual, I really appreciate people watching. I believe our hobby grows when we push around ideas and support each other.